Welcome guys, starting from this lecture, we will concentrate on Airflow and its component only. And as a first move, I'm going to explain the user interface of it. The built-in UI is a notable part of Apache Airflow. Its rich user interface makes it easy to visualize pipelines running in production, monitor their progress and troubleshoot issues. It allows you to see the status of your jobs, their underlying code, and furthermore, you can perform different actions on that jobs too. So Airflow's UI is a thing which if operated correctly will make your DAG managing task a way more easy. Having said that, let's start exploring it. Let me first check if our containers are up and running. Yes, they are. Now go to the browser at localhost 8080. This is the admin index or you can say the admin's main page that shows us the status of all DAGs at a glance. Also, this page provides us the necessary primary operations that we can perform on our DAGs. We have a navigation bar here with some navigation links. In this DAG table, currently we have only one DAG called Tutorial. This is the default DAG that came along with Puckles project. As we move along in this course, we will create new DAGs and those DAGs will automatically get listed in this list. This DAG, if you have few columns, let's understand them one by one. First is this edit button. Clicking on it, we got some information about tutorial DAG, like whether this DAG is paused or not. Ours is not, but if it is paused, it would mean that it won't run automatically as per the schedule. Then this is that DAG file location, owner name and some other stuff. Next we have a toggle switch with on and off label on it. This toggle switch basically shows that whether your DAG is enabled or disabled, that is if it is running or not. Clicking on this switch, you can change the status of your DAG from enabled to disabled and vice versa. For its use case, suppose you have a running DAG and you are planning for the maintenance on some system, then you might want your DAG to be stopped from running. That thing you can easily do it from here with just a single click. Next column is DAG ID, that is tutorial. Now some of you might wonder that why it is showing DAG ID as tutorial instead of tuto. The file name that we had in a DAGs folder was tuto.py. Guys actually this tuto.py is the name of DAG definition file and not the name or ID of DAG itself. This tutorial, it is the unique ID provided to this DAG in its definition file. You will get to know about it when I open its DAG definition file and explain it line by line. There we have mentioned tutorial as its DAG ID. Clicking on this DAG ID will redirect you to the different views of your DAG's executings. We are also going to cover this whole view thing very soon. Next column is schedule. Schedule is more or less similar to the concept you would have used when scheduling a cron. Schedule column indicates the interval of time after which a DAG will be triggered. Like in this case, tutorial DAG will be triggered after every one day. The schedule interval time is also set in the DAG definition file. If I click on schedule, we got a table of DAG runs. Currently a DAG ran only for one time, so one row. This table provides us information like its state, it may be running failed or success, then its DAG execution date when the DAG was run, then is run ID. If the run ID starts with manual keyword, it means the DAG was manually triggered. If it starts with schedule keyword, it means it ran automatically as per defined interval. Coming out of schedule, next we have owner column specifying the owner of this particular DAG, which is Airflow. Then we have a column recent tasks containing few columns in that trunk. Recent tasks show a summary of the tasks that were present in the latest DAG run. If a DAG is currently running, then it will show its live task status or if there are no active runs, then it will show the status of the task from the most recent DAG run. Each of this circle represents a different status for tasks. If I hover over these circles, we have tips like success, running, failed, then skipped, up for reschedule and many more. And yeah, a quick add-on. There is no name specified to this second last bubble. This represents no status. When your tasks are not scheduled, 
in fact not even queued then they would be listed in this no status bubble after this we have last run last run shows us the date and time when that recent dag was run then is this dag runs column dag runs provide us the status of a complete dag or you can say of the whole pipeline inside dag runs we have three little circles each for success running and failed where recent task column shows us the status of different tasks within a dag this dag runs column shows us the status of a dag as a whole to understand it better suppose you have a dag containing three tasks and out of them two are successfully completed and the third one is yet in running state in this situation the recent task column will show us two circles like this first column depicts that two tasks are successful and second circle will show one in running state meanwhile dag runs tab will show you the status as running only no matter the two tasks from this dag have completed successfully it will only show the success status when all the tasks in this dag will have a successful completion okay so last we have some quick links to hop around the ui clicking on any of this link will again take you to the particular view for this dag like tree view graph view task duration and there are few more links the detailed tour of each of these links is covered later in this section but let me cover these two here in this video only this refresh and delete this refresh or reload button is important and is quite different from our browser's reload button suppose you have made some changes in your dag file now those changes may take some time to get automatically reflected in back in ui but in case if you wish to reflect those changes promptly in airflow ui then you can manually do so by clicking on this reload button it says dag tutorial is now fresh as a daisy so you can consider this reload button as a hard reload button the last is this delete dag button clicking on which will delete your selected dag and will erase all the data related to it like dag runs its metadata delete everything but accept the logs logs won't de get deleted so guys this is just the overview of ui i know since this is a quite new thing so getting familiar to it might take some time but don't worry as when we start doing practicals then these things will be on your fingertips see you guys in the next lecture